Hey, I'm excited to show you how to pack up your dress for your pack. So first grab your dress and you'll want to get a garment bag. Garment bags aren't super necessary, but I really like them because um, they protect your dress from getting any spills or stains from any necessary items you have in your pack, like hairspray or a super yummy bar. Anyway, so grab your garment bag and your dress. I have my Lulu's dress here. So you are going to first fold up the bottom and you can grab your hanger. And I like to grab a hanger that has this bottom part. And then you can fold it up and lay it over the top. And depending on the fabric type, you might want to make this look super nice and pretty. Uh, but since mine's lace, it doesn't wrinkle very much. And then you can place it in your garment bag. Zip up. And now we're going to take it to our bed for some more folding. So I got my dress here on the bed in the garment bag. And show me the little so I'm gonna move it back here in the center. So I'm gonna fold up the side so it's in a rectangle shape. You can take your um, hanger out of the bag and just let it lay flat like that. I personally like to keep the hanger and especially if you get one of those cute customized ones that says like Mrs. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so or whatever QC name you might have for yourself in one of those hangers. Uh, the downfall of those is you usually can't like hang your um, train on the bottom of that. So another way you get around that is getting some clothespins and clipping your clothespins, um, your train up to the top of the bodice of your dress um, and keep your super cute hanger. It is gonna add a lot of bulk to your pack um, if you're packing your dress in your backpack. So just keep that in mind. Um, so option to leave the hanger in. I'm gonna leave the hanger in and I'm gonna fold it up to the side so I have a little bit of a funnel shape here because I have the hanger. And then you're just roll it like a sleeping bag. So you wanna get all the air out as much as you can so that way you're not carrying any extra puff. And you can unzip the top of your garment bag to get that last bit of air in, give it a little squish, and then zip it back up and it will be hauled tight. And now your pack is ready to slip in your bag. You'll have to get a little creative around your hanger here. Alternatively, you could roll it the other way, letting your hanger lead you. Just make sure your hanger doesn't have any super pokey tugs. You don't want to poke a hole in your dress. And then just have a little uh, flat part of your dress. So either way you want to fold your dress. I like to roll it up. Um, if you want to get that air sealed out, you could definitely tape the top to get a tighter air seal to get that. If you're like super OCD and want all the air out as possible. Um, yeah. And that is how you pack your elopement wedding dress. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, drop a comment below, share this with a friend who might need it. And I'm excited to share more with you guys. Thanks.